Welcome to PSLE Maths, where you find solutions to PSLE Math problems. Please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for notification. Thank you. Hello kids. Let's look at a question from Singapore Chinese Girls School, 2019 prelims paper. This is a geometry question, question number 12. The figure below is not drawn to scale. A, B, C, D is a rhombus and B, C, E is an equilateral triangle. Angle A, D, C is given as 64 degrees. Find the angle C, A, E. First, let's consider the rhombus A, B, C, D. The opposite angles in a rhombus are equal. So given that angle A, D, C as 64 degrees, the opposite angle A, B, C is also 64 degrees. Now consider the triangle ABC. This is an isosceles triangle. AB is equal to BC because AB and BC are part of the rhombus ABCD. So all the sides in the rhombus are equal. So AB is equal to BC. Now that we know one of the angles in the isosceles triangle as 64 degrees, the other two angles are equal. So 180 minus 64 is 116 degrees. The other two angles are half of 116 degrees, which is 58 degrees. Now consider the triangle BCE. This is given as an equilateral triangle, which means all the angles are 60 degrees. And so the angle CBE is also 60 degrees. Now consider the triangle ABE. This is also an isosceles triangle because AB is equal to BC in the rhombus and BC is equal to BE in the equilateral triangle. So AB is equal to BE. So this isosceles triangle, we know the angle at B as a sum of 64 and 60 degrees, which is 124 degrees. So the other two angles which are equal are 180 minus 124 degrees, which is 56 degrees. Half of that is 28 degrees each. Now consider the angle that we need to find out, C, A, E. This is just the difference between the two angles that we have already found out. So it is 58 degrees minus 28 degrees, which is 30 degrees. So that's the answer to our question. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more problem sums. If you have a specific question that you would like to see a video on, please post it in the comment section. Thank you.